Thomas and Friends, Duncan Duncan. Rusty Renes and Scar Lowy were helping Duncan with an important job at the Incline Railway. They enjoyed working there. They liked the clever way loaded trucks rolled down the incline, pulling the empty trucks up. Duncan didn't like working at the Incline Railway. He was always in a hurry. That made him careless and got him into lots of trouble. Rusty hoped Duncan will stay out of trouble today. There is a lot of work to do, huffed Duncan to the others, so collect your trucks and be quick about it. Botsy boots, Chaffronez, pushy puffer, said Scarlowy. They didn't like Duncan telling them what to do. Rusty Renez and Scarlow were happy pushing empty trucks up the steep incline and hauling loaded ones away. There was a lot to do. The empty trucks were hitched to a steel rope. Loaded trucks at the top of the incline were hitched to another end of the rope. Then the loaded trucks rolled down and pulled the empty trucks up. Duncan wanted everyone to work faster. You're as slow as snails, he grumbled. We're proper engines, Rusty Huff crossly. We follow the rules. We can't send on more than four trucks at a time, chuffed Renez. I'll show you how fast a really useful engine can work, Duncan called, which said Duncan impatiently. As he banged one truck into another and then another. Soon, Duncan had a row of trucks. Nothing to it, he posted to Rusty. Those trucks will pay you back, warned Rusty. Trucks don't like to be banged and shoved. I can handle trucks, cried Duncan. Rusty could see the Duncan Rusty could see Duncan was not going to listen. He trundled away with his trucks full of slate. Duncan was so impatient he became even more callous. I'll show that smelly diesel and those lazy steamers, he said to his driver. Duncan didn't notice his chain was tangled in the coupling of the truck in front of him. Suddenly, he was being pulled up the track by the empty trucks. Bouncing buffers, Duncan cried. It's got me. Duncan's driver jumped clear. Rusty, Renitz and Scarlow returned with their empty trucks to see Duncan being pulled up the incline. I tried to warn him, said Rusty, but he never listened. The chain pulling Duncan's trucks couldn't hold the weight. It suddenly broke. Duncan whizzed backwards down the incline. Help, he yelled. I can't see where I'm going. He was heading straight for the buffers. Bang. Duncan crashed through the buffers and landed in the muddy mine pond. Glug, 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 he said. Glug, 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 glug. No one was hurt, but Duncan felt very foolish and very wet. It took a long time to rescue him from the pond. When the fat controller arrived, he was very cross with Duncan. You have not been a useful engine, he said. You have caused confusion and delay, and you owe these engines an apology. I'm sorry, Duncan said to Rusty, Renez, and Scarlowy. Once you have been repaired, the fat controller said, you will work here alone until you learn to be patient and careful. Yes, sir, said Duncan. He didn't want to fall into the mine pond again. The end.